If you have OSHA compliance questions or concerns, Pike Group's got you covered. Hello, my fishy friends. Captain Joe here. Thanks for coming to Head First Fishing. I'm at my favorite place on earth, St. Pete Fishing Outfitters. Here to get a little tackle. Let's head on into the store here. We just opened back up from the passing of Tropical Storm Elsa. The biggest no big deal storm I've ever seen. Back in business here. Let's come on in the store. All right, let's check out a new setup for snapper fishing. Let's see what the guys here at the store recommend. I think I've got a spinning reel in mind. Might look at a conventional, but I really like the simplicity of a spinning setup and you can use it for so many different things. Got a lot of different spinning reels to choose from. A lot of good stuff in here. What's going on, Dylan? How are you? I'm doing good, man. I'm looking for a shiny new mangrove snapper setup. Something for catching those bigger mangroves in the bay. Something that's not too bulky, but has enough guts to get some of those big, strong snapper right, from the bottom. This. Okay, cool. Florida Fishing Products New Saltwater Series right here. It is a maximum drag of 31 pounds. It has the seven plus one stainless steel ball bearings as Very well. Very nice. And it also has the uh, CNC power handle with the EVA knob. Uh, the gear ratio is a four to nine to one. And, it's almost uh, like you're reading it right off the box. <laughs> <laughs> Line capacity is uh, holds about, I would say, 250 yards with braid. Perfect for inshore snapper in the bay. Nice man, that's yep. a great looking reel. Looks solid. How's it? How does it feel in your hands? It feels really sturdy. I like the they change the change that I have the first gen, so they changed a lot from now. And right. They seem to be a lot stronger and. There was nothing wrong with the first gen. That was a great reel. Yeah, I still have some, reel. but they've got it. I think they've beefed it up a little the, bit. The, the knob is a little different on it. And then I think they just, the the whole the whole reel is, is a lot stronger. And um, it'll be perfect for snapper fishing in the nice. bay. Nice. I like yes, it. Sir. What else would you maybe target with that size reel? You could also target redfish. Um, big snook, redfish, trout, bigger gag. ones, yeah. Oh, over slots. Yeah, you could even yeah. get small gags on this too. Nice. Yeah. Cool, man. Perfect reel for you, man. <laughs> Look, uh, what do you say we go down the rod aisle and find a rod that's perfect for for that reel? All right, sounds good. Let's go pick out a rod that's a good match for that Osprey 5000. You know, rods are really important. Uh, they do most of the work when it comes to fighting a fish. The reel is important for sure, but a quality rod that matches the reel is critical choice and some people will even spend a little bit more money on the rod versus the reel but uh let's follow dylan over here and see what he will pull out as far as a good match for this osprey 5000 saltwater series what do we got here right looks here, like man. seven six something from bull bay seven six assault bull bay rod 12 to 25 pound heavy fast Perfect. Very nice. Perfect. Go ahead and slap that baby right. on there. So you think this will be good? That seven foot six is a good is a good length. Um, yes, sir. You've got a lot of backbone in this setup, so you can pull those snapper up off the bottom. What is that? Was it thirty one pounds of drag again? Yes, ahead? sir. That's a lot of drag. A lot of drag. So you need it's got double collars on it as well. So. That's what you need. There we go. Double collars right. on that one. So that we'll show we'll show everybody that that's not coming off. So you got one and two collars right here. So that's not going anywhere for sure. So let's just give them a give them a quick rundown from end to end. Bull Bay is a really great company. Florida company. Got a big following. I think really good tackle. Beautiful stuff. And what would be a secondary choice for that? What would you say? Maybe a different say length. Maybe like a 710. 7 foot 10, you think that would yes, be sir. good? A little bit bigger? A little bigger, a little beefier. Yeah. So yeah. you you probably catch some, you know, some bull reds or some overslot snook with that or tarpon under a hundred pounds, yes, stuff like that. Very nice. Cool man. Thanks a lot. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem, man. All right. Let's go get some line that would be a good choice for mangrove snapper fishing on the spinning reel. Go all the way back here. 
Here we got a bunch of different choices for braided fishing line. Because eventually, at some point, I pretty much use all my setups for some other type of fish. Braided line really makes a lot of sense because it gives you more options, gives you more line capacity. So I'm using mostly braided line on my setups. Um, but for mangrove snapper, I would probably start somewhere around the 25 pound mark. And I could go 30 is kind of the gold standard. And then maybe 40 would be the high end of what you would need. You really wouldn't need stronger braid, or braid than that for mangrove snapper. Now, if you got a setup uh, that you just got straight mono on it, usually if I'm doing that, it's a conventional, but you know, 30 to 40 pound mono, straight mono would be a good idea in that situation. Um, but that's the line that I would use and I recommend you come by St. Pete Fishing Outfitters and get spooled up and they'll take care of you. Back again at the leader line section. Can't ever have enough of the 20 pound crystal fluorocarbon leader. That's a great choice for all kinds of fish. I use it for trout, redfish, snook. Uh, it's really good for free lining. Free lining in clear water. It's a small diameter. The fluorocarbon has uh, low visibility. So you're gonna be able to get those baits hit in the middle of the water column. When the baits are on bottom, you got a big chunk bait on the bottom, the fish are a little less picky, so you can get away with a bigger, uh, stronger line. And you can just use a regular nylon monofilament like we have down here. Stuff like that's all very good choice. The fish aren't too picky. When they got a big juicy bait lying on the bottom and uh, they're just hungry, they're gonna come snap it up. When you're snapper fishing, it's always good to have a variety of different choices. So these jigs from Captain Chappie, uh, he's got sheep balls, he's got hog balls. Um, it's all basically a swing jig is what it is. And it works for all kinds of different fish. Uh, just put your bait on there, live or dead, doesn't matter. And it works good in lower current situations where a really uh, light presentation is key. That's gonna be uh, very effective for catching mangrove snapper. So when I'm fishing in water that's 30, 40, 50 feet, all the way up to maybe 100 feet, often I'll use a jig head presentation. So one of my go-tos is the Mission Fishing. I'm sure you've seen me talk about it before. Mission Fishing jig heads. Good starting place right there is their quarter ounce jig head. Pink is always a good color. White, that's a good color. A lot of different things you can choose from and of course, with legal considerations, circle hook jig heads are always a good idea to have on the boat. So I've already, I have a box that has a bunch of these in it at all times. Um, so jig heads have been around for some time and they just straight up catch fish. They, you know, use them with lures or, you know, dead bait and live bait. Jig heads are a great presentation to catch fish. If you want, if you're out in deeper water and you want a nice easy presentation down to the water column, um, you know, with a live shrimp or a live pilchard, jig head is the way to go. These spro jigs can be very effective for catching snapper. We did a video a long time ago. We talked about the spro jig head and putting some bait on it, moving it around, and the snapper coming to, to chow down on it and just kind of keep it bouncing off the bottom. Really nice and easy, just a little yo-yo off the bottom. I like these green and white ones. I like uh, the straight white and I like the pink. Those seem to be uh, the best colors for me. I haven't really got into the to the crazy chartreuse or the yellows or anything like that. Um, I'm sure you probably could catch something on them, but uh, just just that bait fish color right there. It's got the same colors as a bait fish, and for some reason that particular high vis color seems to work. So check them out. Bucktail jigs from Spro. Send them down there. Give them just a little bit of a dance off the bottom. Put some bait on there you'll catch snapper. So the kind of hooks you need for general snapper fishing for some of the bigger mangrove snapper is a 2 watt 2x circle hook. These are really good hooks. They can withstand a lot of pressure. So even if you hook into that unexpected grouper down there, that hook is going to hold. Highly recommend these trident hooks. Use them all the time. You see them all over my channel. Really good hooks. This is a Pro Pack. Comes in 32 hooks really a it's a it's a it's a really good choice 
uh, to get a lot of hooks for a good price. But that 2-0-2x is the way to go for Big Snapper. Well, that's it for today's trip to St. Pete Fishing Outfitters. Appreciate you coming by the channel. Come by later and we'll have more tips for your next fishing adventure. Adios.